okay so in the last video we added a default user to our database so that we can test our login but um, in this video we're going to create actual login forms and routes um, so that we can test it um, all right so first what we're going to need to do is create our login routes all right so let's go to our routes.php file which is located in app http um, routes.php so inside the group here which has the middleware um, of web applied we're going to create a route two routes there so first we're going to do route get and um, it's going to have a url of login so we'll do for slash login and um, the route will have a name of login as well so we do that passing an array with a key of as um, and value of login so next what we're going to do is we're going to specify which database table um, it uses all right so um, let's specify that it uses the auth controller um, a little note about the auth controller which i'll talk about in a moment so auth controller and um, the login function of the auth controller so let's just duplicate that quickly and um, the next route will be handle login um, which is which um, where our route will submit the data um, after we've entered the login credentials okay so it's going to also um, have a name as um, key as handle login and it's going to use the handle login um, function in the auth controller as well all right so let's have a look at the auth controller because laravel provides one already for us and it lives in controller auth and auth controller right so laravel actually has the capability of providing login and registration functionality for you but since we're learning how to write one ourselves we're not going to use this um, one at all so what we're going to do is we're going to delete this but um if you're curious about how this works um and i may cover um how to configure and use this controller in another series but um for this series we're going to learn how to actually write something similar to the functionality of this so i'll delete this but i urge you um after going through this tutorial series to um, create a new application um, and um, go through this as well right so I'll just delete this um, file here so delete okay move to trash all right so um, now that we have created our routes for login and handling the login let's create a new controller um, for these routes okay so let me just do a clear here so I'll do PHP artisan make controller and uh, we're going to create a new auth controller All right uh, from we're going to specify that um, the name of the controller okay so that has created a controller for us let's see where it has created it and as you can see it's not inside the auth folder but inside the controllers folder here okay so um what we're going to do is we're going to implement these two methods here since we specified those are the methods to handle these routes the login and the handle login so first let's implement the login so that's going to be a public function and um, login and it won't take any parameters and what i'm going to do is just return that login view for us so we're going to just return view and um, where is this going to live in in the auth folder of the view folders so we're going to say auth.login all right so next um we're going to create that view so let's go in the um, resources folder here and the views folder and let's create a folder called auth and inside there we're going to create uh, another file called login dot master sorry dot blade dot php okay so in there we're going to um first extend our um master's layout so we, since we do not have that we're going to create that right after creating this view let's do extends and uh, what do we want to extend layouts the master and then we're going to have to create another um, section called um, content just um, remember we're going to create all these in the master um, view soon so we're going to end the section and in there I've created a basic HTML um, template and I'll explain what all that does in a moment so I'll just paste all that in the content section here okay so basic what this does is just create the h2 header and opens the Laravel form submits to the handle login route and creates um, two HTML fields one for the email and one for the password 
which is what we're going to use to log in our uh, username uh, as email and password and the token and the submit button here so I've created um, added all these array parameters here so that um, Laravel uh, can add the proper bootstrap classes so that these forms look nice okay so next what we're going to do is create the layouts file so I'll create a new folder called layouts and in there we're going to create a master uh, file which is what we extended um, top here so I'll just do master dot blade dot PHP so um, I've also created a snippet for that so I'll quickly copy and paste that in the, um, this file here and basically what that is is just a uh, basic HTML template with um, title and linking to the bootstrap CDN here and the bootstrap JavaScript file and um, you may not need this uh, actually I don't think we need it so let me just um, delete that and um, in here we are yielding the content saying that any um, view file that extends this master layout will have to provide a section called content and as you can see that's what we did here this section called content okay so let's go to our browser and see um, whether we can view this form here so I'll go back to my browser and I'll do a forward slash um, login and as you can see we have a HTML form which is displaying the email and the password